AI is incredibly hot right now, and as a front-end developer, you may be wondering how to get started with building AI web applications. In this video, I'm going to show you how. So last week, I launched this viral AI web app that got over 7,000 likes on Twitter and 44,000 unique visitors. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly how I built it so you can build your own AI apps. Let's start with a quick demo. We're first gonna upload an image, and this stores it in an external storage service and also sends the image to an AI API to get enhanced. And when the photo gets back, we display it on the screen. Let's look at the architecture for this project. We have four main components. We have our front end, which is in Next.js and primarily is composed of our upload component and some image components. We have our back end, which is a Next.js serverless function. And we have two external services. One of them is for storage and one of them is our AI API. So the way this works is the user first uploads an image, you know, drags and drops it or selects it as we saw in the demo. Um, what this does is it uploads the image to our external storage service and our storage service responds with an image URL, right? We can then take that image URL and send it to our backend. When our Next.js serverless function gets this image URL, it then passes it to our AI API to get enhanced. And after doing some polling, which we'll look at the code in a second, it will send back the restored image, which will send it back to the front end to display to the user uh, so they can see it and download it. So that's an overview of the architecture. Let's get into the code. Let's start with our front end and specifically this React component. I used a library called Uploader, which I configured over here, essentially just telling it to only accept images and we used all the way down here. So when someone uploads an image here, this on update function fires. And what it does is it sets our original photo. So we have three pieces of state here for the original photo, the restored photo, which we're gonna get back from the AI API, and some loading state. So it sets the original photo with the file URL that we get, and it calls this generate photo function. Uh, for this function over here, all it does is it calls our generate API route, which is our backend, and it passes the image URL. And then when it gets back the new image, we set um, this restored image state with it. So going down to our actual code, we can see um, we have our H1 and our paragraph um, over here, and then we have this upload component that we're showing um, if the original photo is not there, right? So after a user uploads a photo and we do have an original photo, we wanna show it. And after we get back the restored image from the API, we want to show both side by side. And that's what we saw earlier in the demo. Let's look at our backend. So we have this generate.ts file, which is just an API route inside of our API folder in our Next.js application. And this is where we interact with our AI API, right? So we get our image URL that we passed in from the front end and we're calling our AI API that's hosted on Replicate. So the way Replicate works is we need an initial uh, API request to essentially tell Replicate to start the image restoration process because it typically takes you know five to 10 seconds. Uh, and then after we send this initial request, um, we get back an endpoint URL that we can then kind of pull every second to see if the uh, image has is done processing. So that's what we do down here. We have a while loop um, that pulls every second, that pulls this endpoint URL. And if the uh, status is succeeded, that means it finished and we just get back the restored image and return it back to our front end. Um, if the status is not succeeded, uh, we're essentially just waiting a second and continuing to loop. So that's how our serverless function works. It's pretty straightforward. The great thing about Replicate is that we can then use this exact code for any other AI API on their platform. We just have to change this version, which corresponds to what AI API you want. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.